Sweet Princess Uka. Ciao, hello, hello. Yes, sharing the room. All I ever did was sharing the room. Is sharing the room. My mere existence is sharing the room. I went to see Mimi before I left Germany. He was sitting there. I think he had a wife. Did he have children already? I don't know. But he was bored. He was bored because she wasn't sharing the room. I think he was sharing the room because I wasn't even with him when we went to the festival and he invited me to a French restaurant at my 16th birthday. 16th he wrote on that album cover and the little girl understood. I don't know what I understood <laughs> because I didn't know what I did not understood. Actually my mother said the same when I left. Wendy, she said, I wish I would have known as much as you know when I was your age to make better life choices. <laughs> Impressive, she said that. And I did thought I had it all figured out. Careful there, guys, careful there. And then I noticed I didn't, but I did. I did figure it out. The thing is, when I thought I didn't is because then I went to Mexico and there was a whole new set of learning. You know, the second meaning, the stabbing from behind, the Catholic sneaky, the fake smiles, the I take advantage of you, the I am only someone if I can hurt you. Yeah, the different set of rules. A new place to share my room. my room I just meant I looked at people let them be allowed allowed yeah when I say hey I like I want let a relation or interrelation or even for quick and that it may it's always about it allow another person allow and have a look yeah well but if a person doesn't allow what is there to see? Nothing. It's just a locked up closet. An empty closet. Empty closet. Because when you have something, it is more natural to actually want to share. At least with one person. You want to share. You're meant to share. Not to mingle, interact in nothingness, no, to truly share. Otherwise we could inject our food. What? Yes, we could inject our food. I mean, if astronauts exist, <laughs> they have it all in plastic, on pills. Yeah, if astronauts exist. Now, why am I saying this? Yeah, what do you think it's out there? Do you think... Never mind, it's not important. It distracts you. Because you need a large something outside yourself to feel ground. Oh, there's... We have... Oh, oh my God. You know, these tiny little humans. They think we've met it made because now we invade the space. And other planets, which we do not understand. Yeah, the egotistical display of what is humanity in fortschritt, progress, science. Yeah, but what science exactly? Because no one really cares about any written science or math when he or she isn't happy inside. Can you dig? So you erected that building, Yahoo, one out of billions. Are you happy now? 
No, you're only happy when people say bravo. When you maybe appear on that magazine cover and think, oh wow, people say bravo. It is a time of interaction, he thinks. I did it, people say bravo. But it's empty and void because the only thing he ever receives is envy. He shares the room, and that's what I mean. You enter in a place, what are you? Oh, I am so secure about myself. He pretends and wants to be applauded. And the other one who can't pull that on off says, I'm envious about you. And hates the person for being self-secure. And now blames the other person. He is a self-centered motherfucker. Yeah, who is blaming the other one for being self-centered? The short one, the tiny one, the minuscule, nothing. The nothingness blames the other for being self-centered because that is exactly what he is. Self-centered. Projection. He is self-centered, so he blames the world for it. He just couldn't pull out that stunt. And that's where we are differing and we have no variety. I am just not in it because I look at it, I want to embrace and I see, oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> the egotistical display of idiocy, that's so sad. I say, well, disgusting, I just run off. It doesn't hit my integrity, it just hits the beauty of my day and everyone's day. And then I invite people, and then they say, okay, cool, and they think they're now accepted. No, I'm going to be hitting you in the cool way. Look at me, I'm so cool again. Boom, bam, beam, and stealing people, ripping them of their mere existence. We don't want that. Share the room, I say, can we? Why is it such a biggie? Oh, yeah, because you need the ego to survive. The pretend. Maybe opening up takes courage for you. From the inside. Opening up from the inside. Just from the inside. I'm not actually... But then again, eventually you want to actually just talk to other people. But relinquish on that. Oh, hi, how you doing? The vein. The empty words and the harshness in your voice. I can hear it. I can hear it from afar. <laughs> I hear them being, oh my god, I'm so cool here, emitting the message of, I'm an oblivious shit. Oh wait, he didn't say so. Well, he did, and then wheeze. When you do things to achieve other people looking at you, and you're in the wrong place. I never want that, ever. I never walk and say, look at me. I never want you to look at me per se. I'd like interaction, yes, entertain. That would be nice. But just look at me and that's not how this works. I pay attention. I allow you as I look, you exist. As I look, you exist. You only exist when you are seen. It's there where loneliness stops. When you are seen, hence, in our natural state, we strive for interacting. Because we need to be seen. As we need to be seen. As a person, we need to be seen. And you can't do that when you already have a closed mind. When you have an agenda, if you have to give out. I got racket to go, crack, 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 all them words. There is nothing to be seen because nothing in there. It's an empty closet. Who wants to look at that? And it's so empty and locked, you can't even fill it up. Because in reality, it's not empty at all. It's full of shit, garbage, old stuff, bad vibes, negative thoughts. And the idea, oh, you must give me now because I can't handle it all by myself. That's a very, very, very different attitude. 
You must give me now because I can handle then real love. I can't handle that myself. That's love too. So I give you. And I look for you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I need you. I need you. Share the room and allow the space. When I see someone crumbled, I feel protective. Yeah, if this person isn't aggressive. I feel protective. I feel like give him or her a hug. Yeah, in the field I do from afar. But then again, who isn't showing me he or she is crumbled without hitting on burning me or the people? There is where my benevolence ends. And it started within my heart. Chopped off wherever I go. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, you don't know how hard this is. You have no idea how hard this is. I mean, sometimes they often actually drive onto my car. There's no space, like this close. A millimeter to hit it. Like every time there should be someone, right, who has to just show it. But all the others, you don't understand. You look at another place you want to be and to drive right into it before you drive into it you're already in that place without your drop so i feel like oh my god i have to protect myself driving around it's like everyone around me just wants to bang into me because they already are boom 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 shot 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 this is such a bar zone you have no idea how much i'm pushing at all moments and those little drives i don't mind driving but this is horror you don't want that There is a quantum physics experiment which is maybe totally irrelevant to you. It totally says it, that the mind enhances the outcome of the experience. And of the, you know, whatever that happens, it's the mind who makes it happen. It's the mind who makes it happen. The outcome of that experience is within the mind. That means the experiment changes it, depending on who is looking the approach of how it is looked upon because ultimately it's the mind the thought it's the idea it's the intent which changes the outcome and that's what you want war zone because you look and you just take you think you just drive over people that's what you think you can just go and drive over me and i change it by saving the shit out of everyone and i don't enjoy it no share the room dude Share the room, man, woman. Invite. No, no, no. I can literally feel how they're driving over me. Boom, boom, boom. This constant demand. Give me, give me attention. That's not how it works. This is, it's detrimental. It's deafening. That's what this is. Deafening. Share the room. Shut up. Be quiet. Look from the inside and allow. Yeah, you want to interact? Give. By allowing. Okay, it's alright. I got something that you don't like. Mm. 